there, and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with uh, Adam RPG Trudegrad. Oh. Continue the search. The search for secret. Hold on, sorry. I can just see that my screen is a little bit off. Left over from the days long gone. Before the end of civilization. As we knew it. Cool. I like it. In long abandoned ruins. Relics await. Well hidden from bright eyes. I mean, he was turning it to the right. Wouldn't that shut it? I don't know. This is a very cool uh, filming location, I gotta say. Very cool. I'm, I am, I'm loving this location. Man, this feels like quite high budget for a video game. Is he hiding? Many years has it been since the day the Cold War ended with mutual destruction. Fifteen. Twenty. Cool. Boom! There we are. True to grad. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna play True to Grad. So full disclosure, I did receive my copy of the game for free, um, and I'm excited. I like RPGs, and I like Fallout, and I like uh, post-apocalyptic stuff. I'm I'm here for it. I'm I'm keen. I'm ready. I'm gonna play. It's gonna be so good once it loads up. Okay, there we go. All right, new game. Uh, so, guy, or I can, I can pick, I can pick one of these ones, I see. Let's go, let's go, let's pick our own character. Right, we'll go with Sarah, I like Sarah, that's a good name. Oh, that's Sophia. Oh, she keeps having different random names. Ursula. Uh, all right. So this is where we can spend some points. So I'll spend some points. Oh, I can... Distinction, huh? Destructive Diplomat. Uh, all right. Speechcraft, chance to talk your way out of random encounters. Firearm skills, strength, sequence, dodge. Sure, let's go... What does sequence do? Turn odor, alright. Deadly dock, timid theoretician. Intellect, you start with level 3 recipes. Personality minus 1. Um, and we get to pick 2. So this is very Fallout. Very Fallout. Hounded individual. All friends and relatives are replaced by fake automatons when you're not looking. That's... Alright. God's mistake. Behold, these are cool. There's a bright side. You are more resilient due to your constant, constant accidental self-harm. Right. Doomed guy. Uh, 
lucky bastard. I mean, we could go to all skills except speechcraft and gambling. Freedom lover, what does that do? Sequence, retrograde. Roy Rampage, lone genius. Crippling lack of em empathy. Oh. Only works for the opposite gender. Um, bloodthirsty ogre. I guess we're going to go with... What is Wacky Woodsman? Let's go with Lucky Bastard and Destructive Diplomat. So we're going to... We're going to really min-max here. Base value... Oh, right. So, 11 is the highest it can go. A nice person. Soul of the party. Entertainment. Rock star. All right. Walking luck charm. Nice. That's us. We don't want to just get killed. What is the tension? Tension governs accuracy. And helps you notice easy to miss details and dialogues and your surroundings. We'll go with intellect. Maybe we'll drop the endurance down. We're going to be real smart. Uh, we'll go with there. There we go. We're super lucky. People really like us. There we go. And we get 230 points to spend here. That is a lot of points. So what's the maximum here? Is it 100? I don't, I don't know what this... Oh, I see. So if we go up to 150, personality is raised by one in dialogue. All right. Cool. So we just want... We'll, we'll just have it at 100 because I'm not going to go to 150. So we can see what the different levels do. That makes sense. Um, all right. What have we got? We've got gambling... Winnings increased by... Th we'll, we'll go up to 50 there. There we go. Winnings increased by 30%. Nice. Um, and we're not very good with any weapons, it seems. Well, let's raise this up, I guess. There we go. Get a little discount. Technology. Experience received... Um, I don't know. Let's let's take that up to fifty. I guess fifty seems very arbitrarily high, but that's okay. I guess we need some sort of fighting skill. Um, we might as well see. We're getting to generate a character, so I am having fun. So we'll go with pistols and SMGs because that seems pretty reasonable. What's this? Um, allows attacking with stocks and handles the weapons governed by the skill. Yeah, let's take it up. Let's take it all the way up to 100 so we can get multiple different kinds of attacks. There we go. Alright, and... Well, we've got 69 left. Let's go ahead... Oh, there's abilities as well. There's lots of stuff, man. Um, barter, pickpocket, lockpicking. Let's get our lock picking up. What is that? Yep. All right. Let's get the lock lock picking lock picking going, because I like being able to get wherever I want to get. Um. And we'll go stealth. And we'll just dump the rest into stealth. There we go. What are abilities? Oh dear. I have forty five points. Man, there is a lot of customization. There's a lot of customization in this game. So I don't... What is this? Fast learner. Right. Alright. Pistols and SMG. So what is this? Just five to shoot. Inflicting critical state. I don't... Oh, I see. So that goes that goes up. So we've got to buy that. 
All right. There we go. So we're we're spending some points on this. What is this one? There we go. Ups the shooting range by three squares. Sure. Oh, these are five points. Jeez. All right, so let's go to survival. What is this? Plot armor. Oh, we better buy that. Yep, what is this one? Oaken skin. Uh-huh. Deep pockets. All right. Oh, and it works retroactively, so we don't need it right now. Nice. All right, and then we go look at... Uh, no, we're not... This one. You get plus one skill point for every level. Well, we might as well do that. Yeah, what is this one? Gain plus one plus ten percent discount when trading. Nice. Um sure. What is this one? Gain double the skills from books. Yeah, we'll do that. Um gain plus one chance of finding rare items on sale. Um, gain plus 20% to all experience received. We'll do that. Plus three skill points and one ability point. Yeah. Gain an ability to open locks of your level instantly. Yeah, let's just do that. There we go. And I guess we're going to learn that one. All right, so we've done the stuff. So, yep, we'll go on normal. And now we're playing. We've made a character and now we get to play. That was fun making a character. Here we go. Ooh. It's all very mysterious. Everything you are about to hear is highly classified. Okay. It's you for this briefing due to your activities in the central waste two years ago. The information about the asteroid you delivered upon return from Krasnoznamenny greatly agitated the central command. Our science team did not reach a solid conclusion, but all of them agreed that the potential impact of the asteroid would be devastating to all life in the wastes. This is why Central Command organized a special research group with goals of studying the nature of the problem and finding possible solutions. For the last one and a half years, the best minds of Atom worked on this problem. Now it seems that despite the current state of science and technology in the wastes, a solution has been reached. East of the Central Waste and our base of operations, there is a city called Trudograd. Once it was home to a special strategic manufacturing facility the inverter factory, which was ran by a certain Professor Goryachov. As you know, Trudograd survived the war much better than most cities and towns of our motherland. Thus, it is possible that the facility still stands or even operates protected by the city walls. This facility is very important to our cause. Before the war, it was used to manufacture an experimental electromagnetic propulsion device, the R-R-1 railgun. According to top secret documents we uncovered during our research, this invention of Professor Goryachov was able to deliver special polymer-based projectiles straight into Earth's orbit, or even further into outer space at tremendous speeds. If this information can be trusted, this device might just happen to be humanity's sole chance of destroying the asteroid before impact. Your mission is to venture into Trudograd, find Professor Goryachov and scout out the inverter facility for any traces of the RR-1 railgun. If the propulsion device will be found, we will take it from there, securing and transporting it to HQ for further study and usage against the asteroid maze. Good 
Black Major, and let there be eight of them. All right, so we have our mission. We have to go get a railgun so that we can take the asteroid out of uh, space before it kills everything in the wastes. Because apparently there's life in the wastes. It's cool. It's cool. We're getting into it. We're going to play some Trudograd at a RPG. So, um, as with any good RPG, I spent the first 15 minutes making a character. And I'm quite pleased with my character. Um... She's built to uh, be able to talk to people and not much else. So we'll see how that goes. I like this kitty. Oh. You're sitting in a small clearing in front of a blazing campfire. The autumn forest surrounds you and it creaks peacefully in the dead of night. I like that we have the voice acting. Heavy with the promise of snow and the beginning of winter. The fire crackles softly with the branches that you feed it, enchanted by the darting, dancing flames. Crackling wood and the hiss of boiling sap are the only sounds in your tiny campsite. With a sigh, you stretch your back and gaze over at your surprised guest. He's a short fellow, hunchbacked, and raggedly dressed. He emerged from the tall trees about an hour ago and asked if he could warm his bones by the fire. Surprisingly, you disregarded your hard-earned knowledge of the wastes and agreed. Now, he's sitting on the opposite side of the fire, his face hidden in the shadows of a hood. His silence is unnerving. You begin to regret allowing the stranger into your camp. Maybe saying something would help ease the tension? I'm gonna start singing. You're hoping this weird song will frighten your mysterious companion into exhibiting better manners. Or maybe you just felt like singing. The man lifts his head and peers at you. At least you'd think he does. His face is still obscured by shadows. Did you come here from afar? He asks in a surprisingly soothing voice. Uh, yeah. As it does to us all. The man is quiet again, but then throws a dry stick into the flames. Sparks fly up like a cloud of fireflies into the cold heavens as he asks, Did you hear what happened in Krasna's nominee? It's a city to the west of here. You feel a strange urge to tell him the truth. Who knows why? Perhaps telling someone about your adventures will make them more real. Maybe even grant them some kind of meaning. Right. Um, yeah, this one. Good old Adam. <laughs> Guess those army boys got tired of riding in the backseat. Stranger adjusts his hood and sinks down into his tattered clothing. Say, you know what happened to that, uh, that old bruiser Dan? Leader of the factory gang. Uh, he's alive as well. Good, yeah. The man says with a slight shiver. I don't know the answers to these. I'm just guessing. Upon your small camp until the Am I supposed to know? Arises in the distance and you look fearfully around. Danger lurks in every corner of the wastes, and it pays to be cautious. Why, then, did you so calmly choose to share your campfire with this odd fellow, a man you know nothing about? As if on cue, the stranger starts asking, What do you know about a lovely little village near Krasna's nominee called the Tradnoye? Uh... Yep, there we go. You cannot fathom sharing everything that happened two years ago with this stranger so this is an unseen force is compelling you to speak the truth this is their way of importing our save from the first game eyes into truth what happened to the trading hub called paragon can you tell me that uh yeah glad to hear not all is lost in that corner of the wastes. i don't the man stretches his arms up as if to pluck a low-hanging star tell me who did you share your travels with back then? I know it's kind of a personal question, but indulge me, please. Uh, I, I, I didn't. So this is, this is uh, a way to import my save, I guess. Um, I didn't play the original one, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe I did. Maybe I played it on this channel, actually, but I didn't like, uh, I didn't get very far. I think I encountered like a game-breaking bug and then stopped playing. Maybe, no, that was a different thing. That was a different game. That was Encased, which was also a post-apocalyptic RPG. I don't know. It's known as True Dog. Yeah, I've heard of him. Anyone else? Oh, I'm so sorry. Anyone else? The worm guy, huh? Is that everyone? Sure. The man nods and again gazes down into the fire. You take a drink from your water flask and hold it out to share. He shakes his head no. Five. 
hard minutes of silence follow until you've had your fill of waiting and guessing. You lean forward, focus exactly on the darkness within the man's cowl, and in a stern voice, ask. Over the years, people have given me many different names, your guest states without emotion. But isn't it true that names, like other words, have no intrinsic meaning? Birds are senseless, unless living people recall them and give them purpose. Thus, when we meet again, I will once more become nameless. Uh, of its own accord, your companion's huh. hood slides limply away. But its absence reveals not a human head, but a glowing, undulating sphere of crimson fire. A deadly star. You yelp aloud, for a moment willing yourself to run. But already the night is vanished, dissolved in the haunting red glow. Never again shall you be able to hide from the invisible gaze of your nightmarish guest. That gaze is cruel and indifferent, and the lands it oversees are barren, burnt down to nothing but ashes and splinters of stone. You are so entranced by the endless landscape of utter obliteration that at first you do not notice how your own body has started burning. You are ablaze on the inside, like a bunch of cinders twisted into human form. And the wild, frigid winds Scatter your ashes across the surface of the dead earth. Nice. Love it. Oh. Damn, that was some nightmare. All right. I got an achievement. Fresh Prince of Trudegrad. Take the duffel bag. Oh. All right, so we're in a little town or something. Oh, we can rotate. Okay. So it's sort of isometric. Oh, this is isometric. To pick the lock, hold down the less... All right. Nice. Oh, open your for Slot one... How do I? Okay. So we unlock the door and then we come outside. I guess we won't need our room key anymore because it said I lost it as soon as I used it. All right. Talk to some people. Um, can you please tell me the quickest way to your heart? Uh. His name is Julian. What should I call you? Okay, Julian, my name is... <laughs> oh, Ursula. And perfectly fitting for such a beautiful lady. Tell me, Ursula, which city lost its sunshine when you need to leave it for gloomy Trudegrad? Um... Yeah, I'm from a refugee camp. Attention! However, you don't miss the tension in his eyes, you're guessing he's about to improvise. I come from such a place too, a son of the steppe without a tribe. My mother and I... So I noticed something in the conversation. That's cool. Um, diseases, gangsters, mutants. Yeah, let's raise a glass to survival. What say you, Ursula? Yeah. You caught him out. I'm not... Why would I lie to you, Ursula? Haha, <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to say. Let's have a... Um, let's have a drink and a nice chat on me. All right. So we caught him lying. All right. Hello, miss. How did you sleep? I hope the bed bugs didn't bite. Um, good to hear. But if you do find yourself itching, please tell me right away. Uh, all right. Yes, don't worry about bed bugs at all. I just remembered something really important. After you went to bed last night, this fellow started asking questions about you. I can't, I'm getting experience points. It's good. I knew you from someplace else. I told him that it was your first time visiting our establishment and maybe the city itself. All right. Yeah. Where is this guy now? 
on the outskirts, all right? See, sitting at the table when you came in yesterday, sneaky little fellow told me to call him Pencil. I don't th think that's his real name, though. Shocking. All right. Tell me about the souvenirs. It's the capital of the wastes. Yep. Yeah. Where did you get them? Did you make them yourself? Oh, no, I buy them. Local craftsmen around the city. All right. The Hebrew's tale is peppered with oddly timed pauses. Right. No, no, you got me. I'm guilty. I uh, buy the medallions at a very low price, but if I don't chisel the villagers a little, I couldn't turn a profit and there'd be no orders. Uh, yeah. Oh, we can see what he's gonna see what he's willing to sell. There's cigarettes, rubles, cool. Oh, there's I've got gear. I'm wearing gear. All right. Yeah, tell me about Trudegrad. This is very cool. This is very very cool. So it's got some pictures here and stuff. Um, I'm getting extreme Fallout vibes. So I might play for a little while. I'm gonna play for a little while longer, but I might fast forward till we get to um, some like combat or whatever to see what that looks like. <laughs> So there's a card game mini game, you know, like there is in The Witcher. There's the um, Gwent. So this is called Bomb Bombagun. Right, the six cards you're dealt every turn are the actions you can perform to lead your city state to victory. Create resources, use resources, or build defensive fortifications. Uh, all right. So that's the some call these health points. All right, watch your health points like a hawk. All right, these are armor points. Health points cannot be restored. Got it. Action points: the amount of cards you can play per turn. Got it. These are food points. So our city has to have food. That's very complicated. Sure. Show how much living space your city has. Alright, now let us gaze upon the cards. Right. It will add plus one housing point to your city. This infer Yeah, got it. When you play this card, it will add plus one food point. Got it. Um, cost two action points. We'll add armor. Okay. Yeah, they gorge themselves on our resources. It's damage your attack card does. Red Skull represents how many health points, how much food the card will destroy, how much housing the card will destroy. Got it. Resource card, which costs three and will grant you two forward points. Yeah. It can only be discovered once for every deck shuffle. Use it wide, wisely. And we'll destroy three of their food points and three of their housing points. Got it. You must have five action points. Yeah, got it. Man, this is, this is quite a complex game to be in already a complex game. So that's... That's cool. All right. All right, so I want to You can now redraw a card. It's time to make a turn. During this first turn, you only have one action point. Because this will allow you to play during next turn and make some damage. Got it. Um, how do I... Oh, 
Oh my god. How do I... Oh my... I don't, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go. I, I don't. The tutorial wasn't really working, so we're just gonna we're gonna try it like this. And it's probably gonna go poorly. So we got one action point, so we can play this. Right, and then what? Does that mean next turn? Okay, so they 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 made a dugout. And what what are we I don't know what we're meant to do next. Okay, so we did the thing. Now we have two action points. Okay, so now we can play this thing. Sure. I mean, I feel like we're going to lose. So they're playing the exact same thing as me. They've got a little bit more housing, though. Right. So, what, let's get some defenses up there. Yeah, boy. Oh, they, they got a little bit more attacky than we did. That's fine. How many? We got four action points. Um, I want to. I want to get rid of something. I want to redraw. I need. Yeah, and then we can play something else, right? Oh, we can't. Can we save our action points? I actually don't know. There we go. I don't I don't I don't know if what we're doing is the right stuff. That seemed bad. All right. So they, they killed my housing. That seemed that seemed very bad. Um I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's let's redraw something. We got five thingies. Oh, we don't have any food, so we can't we can't actually we can't actually play anything. Oof. Sure. I mean, that seems fair, I guess. Jesus. Okay. So we've got two food now. Two food and three houses. We've got that arachnid guy. Yeah. In your face, sort of. Oh, uh, he just kills me. Okay, not in your face. I just lose. Ugh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep watching. All right, cool. So we played a game. That's fun. He doesn't have time for chit chat. Yeah, have you seen any surrealist novels? Yeah, would be interested in writing. Here's my advice. Forget about it. What are good? What good are novels? Um, yeah, tell me your name. Savokin the cook. Nice to meet you and farewell. Great. Let's equip. Let's equip our guns and stuff. Um, what else have we got? We got canned meat. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Sure. So we can't, 
So we can make stuff as well. This is a very complicated game. Now we're going, now we're going outside. Jeez. There are more people to talk to in here, I guess. We come talk to these people. Can we go into their room? Is that a, is that a doable thing? Yeah, in your room. What about you? Go talk to Dandelion, okay. I guess we could uh, rob these people. Uh, what is that? Special field uniform, cool. I don't know why we're robbing people. We did lose 20 rubles. Oh. I feel like the uh, the looting mechanic could be a little bit better streamlined, but that's okay. Oh, I'm, I'm almost already overloaded. That's not ideal, I guess. Oh, sorry. Who was that? Okay, so I'm not supposed to be going into her house, I guess. That seems fair enough. So there's like a card game out here. Let's go play some cards. Right. He shows you they're all tens in Pat's pocket. It's clear something he'll show you a special trick for 40 rubles. Sure. You draw nine of spades, you turn, he throws your card high above his head, appearing out of nowhere, Falcon snatches it up, lets out a single high pitch streak. What? God damn it, whistling loudly and find a card, you take a card with a curse. See, this is nine of spades. Yeah, let's talk about it. Your natural is to shuffle it in the most elegant fashion you know. Oh, I earned some XP. Nice. So this is very cool. Um, it seems like it's very in-depth. I didn't actually manage to get to any combat. We're, we're already 40 minutes in. I'm probably going to play a lot of this game. It's cool. It's fun. Uh, I really like that the dialogue takes into account all my skills and stuff. And yeah, I'm definitely enjoying the depth of this game. And I'm sure it's going to be awesome. So... Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. Let's go look at the description. All right, Adam RPG True to Grad is a turn-based point uh, post-apocalyptic role-playing game, which continues the story of Adam RPG as a standalone sequel expansion and fo follows the traditions set by the classic CRPGs such as the early Fallout and Wasteland titles. Yeah, it it has that that vibe. It only costs 15 bucks. That's amazing. Um, please note, since True to Grad continues the story of Adam RPG, it is recommended to play the previous title before the sequel. Yeah, I haven't done that, but that's fine. It's a standalone story expansion to Adam RPG, a turn-based role-playing game set in a post-apocalyptic Soviet Union. Yep, uh, starting a new game with a new character or continue playing as your Adam RPG character. For this, you must make a save file after beating RT, R Adam RPG's last boss and upload it into True to Grad via helpful menu. That's cool. 40 plus hours of gameplay, 30 plus combat only locations. Um, meet 300 characters, each with a unique portrait and parenting dialogue. Complete 200 quests. Try out our fully voiced visual text quest with branching plots and unique handmade artwork. Arm yourself with 100 plus models of distinct weaponry. And the fun doesn't end there. We really hope you enjoy Adam RPG True to Grad. Uh, and it's got positive reviews. People love it. Um, yeah, people do really love it. Great game. If you liked Adam RPG, you'll like this. Uh, if you like the first one, you'll like this one. As someone who grew up on Wasteland and Fallout, and had the good fortune to work on the Wasteland series during my time at In Exile, this game and Adam RPG feel like a homecoming. Love it. Shorter than the first game, but great sequel with a lot of polish. Wonderful sequel to all the also amazing Adam RPG. You really need to check it out if you haven't. Um, yeah, so I guess I was supposed to play Adam RPG, which I didn't. Because I'm, I'm starting to think I definitely didn't play it. Yeah, I don't. I don't own it. There it is. And I didn't play it. And uh, that's definitely on. That's definitely my bad. But I have now covered Adam RPG True to Grad for my channel. 
and I may go back and just buy Adam RPG and play it. Uh, because I really liked what I was seeing there. I'm totally into CRPGs. I played so much Fallout back in the day. It was awesome. I loved it. Um, and this is also very cool. So if you like what you saw, if you're into CRPGs, if you're into just like very in-depth RPGs, uh, Pillars of Eternity and um, all that kind of stuff, then definitely check this out. So I'm going to leave it there. That's Adam RPG True to Grad. Uh, it's very cool. You can check it out by clicking on the link in the description. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Like and subscribe to the channel. All that kind of stuff. And otherwise, I'll see you guys out in the wastes. Class dismissed.